My name is Dr. Denise O'Brien, and I am the Programme Director for the MSc Advanced Practice Midwifery, AMP, and I would like to provide an overview of the programme. This programme provides the discipline of midwifery with an opportunity to undertake an MSc in advanced practice. The programme meets the NBI Advanced Practice Midwifery Standards and Requirements 2018 and enables midwifery candidates to register for an MSc Advanced Practice Midwifery, known as or AMP. A registered advanced midwife practitioner, or AMP, promotes wellness, offers healthcare interventions and advocates healthy lifestyle choices for women, their families and the community in a wide variety of settings, in collaboration with other healthcare professionals. Advanced practitioners are clinical leaders and are committed to the dissemination of evidence-based knowledge and teaching of others in the clinical area. Registered advanced midwife practitioners are thus role models for their profession and are a strong voice for the profession. Evidence reveals they improve practice, lead out on innovation, particularly the key development of key services for women and their families. Therefore, teaching and knowledge translation on the AMP programme would be student-centred and highly interactive, drawing on candidates' existing clinical knowledge, experience and education. The programme content will be delivered through a blend of face-to-face -face lectures, pre-recorded lectures, tutorials, seminars, e-activities and workshops with an emphasis on critical reflection, personal development and the application and evaluation of evidence-based clinical decision-making. So, to provide an overview of the course structure, the programme is offered on a two-year part-time basis with an intake each September. It is positioned at level 9 on the National Framework of Qualifications and includes 110 ECT credits. Some modules are core or essential to complete, while some options are available to you depending on your individual needs. So for example, core, that is, you must complete them, A and P modules include Advanced Practice Decision Making for Healthcare Professionals, Advanced Practice Clinical Practicum, Leadership, Quality Improvement and Governments, other generic modules include, for example, prescribing or advanced health assessment. Research also formed part of the programme, and you will undertake a research module, Advanced Research Methods for Healthcare Professionals, and also complete a dissertation for advanced practice. There are also optional modules. If you have recognition for prior learning, that is, you have completed prescribing or advanced health assessment in the past, you may take options from a suite of midwifery specific modules such as midwifery practice on the concept of normality, the professional certificate and examination of the newborn, the graduate certificate in obstetric ultrasound, or the professional certificate in breastfeeding and lactation. The programme will be delivered over two academic years and commence with an induction day. Assessment strategies. So in terms of assessment, our assessment approaches will be continuous requiring critical thinking and analysis alongside demonstration of skills development and will include end of trimester examinations, MCQs, written assignments, clinical portfolio, oral presentations and clinical skills assessments. Should you need to contact me, please email me at denise.obrien at ucd.ie. I'm the Programme Director and will be delighted to offer any further information.